It's Jeffrey Epstein's list of shame. Oh, yeah. Uh, all the names have... Fi- or nearly all the names have finally come out. We have Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, by the way, before... I've got to preface this. Right. Just because you're on this list, it doesn't mean to say you did anything wrong. I mean, Epstein yeah. was a nefarious got character. Got the whole list here, folks. But, but if a nefarious character said, would you like to come for dinner, I'll fly you out there, and you say yes, that is not a crime. Uh, but God knows what went on on that horrific island of his. But and names, who knew what? names mentioned, extraordinary names include Bill Clinton, of course, uh, Prince Andrew, who is directly right. accused in these documents of having underage sex. That's quite a development. More embarrassment for the royal family. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, <laughs> Na- Naomi Never Campbell. Never a fan of young women, that one. Uh, Na- yeah, Na- Naomi Campbell, Bruce Willis, Donald Trump, of course, who, by the way, is pretty much exonerated yeah, doing by the, this list. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Uh, uh, the one that we are trying to get our heads around is uh, Stephen Hawking, the uh, professor. So he went there as well. But apparently he went as part of a scientific convention yeah. paid for by Epstein. Uh, Michael Jackson, uh, as I say, Kevin Spacey, Kate Blanchlett, uh, 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 Cameron Diaz, David Copperfield, the magician, Naomi Campbell, and the list goes on. Uh, as I say, it's very important to stress that just because you're on this list, which was actually has been sealed by a court since two. 2014 doesn't mean to say you committed any crimes, uh, but the people on this list will not be happy bunnies today. No, indeed. I mean, I think the least happy bunny is likely to be Prince Andrew, who's been accused of taking part in an underage orgy while staying at Epstein's Caribbean home, nicknamed the Island of Sin. Um, and uh, it's emerged that one of Epstein's alleged sex slaves, known only as Jane Doe 3, claimed that she was told to have intercourse with the prince during an orgy and a 2014 court filing alleges she was forced to have sexual relations with Andrew as a minor in three separate geographic locations. So, huge headache, I think, this morning for the royal family. And as much as Prince Andrew might like to tell us he doesn't sweat and he likes going to Uh Pizza Express, well, it's beginning to look a little difficult for him. Absolutely. I mean, we were told, uh, although uh, Andrew is likely to be on this list, it won't take matters on at all. Well, it does, actually. Uh, And I think it's fair to speculate that Jane Doe 3 uh, is Virginia Giffray, could be Virginia Giffray, because she always said that uh, she had sex with him on three in three different locations, including London. Uh, but uh, in terms of the underage element, that's always been a grey area. So she is now. These documents uh, claim that uh, Jane Doe 3, who may or may not be Virginia Giffray, uh, was uh, forced, if you like, to have underage sex. Uh, with Prince Andrew. So it does take the story on and it is another day of shame for the disgraced Duke of York. I think the one name everyone was waiting to be on this list, indeed it was, was former US President Bill Clinton. And these bombshell documents claim that Bill Clinton likes them young. Likes them young. And, uh, yeah, a bit of and a do you know, that... but Do you know how many times... So this, these documents are 950 pages long. Do you know, know how many times uh, Bill Clinton's name... Share that information 76. 76. 76 mentions of the I old mean, president. There's all that conspiracy, isn't there, about quite what the Clintons knew and... Uh, quite what happened to Epstein. Of course, they're all sort of tinfoil hat yeah. theories, but uh, yeah. we like going down those wormholes on the but internet, course, don't we, late at night? To be fair to Bill Clinton, there's never been any suggestion of him uh, be, being attracted to much younger women. Uh, <laughs> Monica! <laughs> Monica! Lewinsky! Uh, yeah, and it's a, it's a bad day uh, for Clinton, uh, and it's a bad day for pretty much everyone on this list, but d- don't think they're all going to end up in jail, no, because no, no, most no. Of, nearly all of them will I have think... done nothing wrong. Yeah, there, there just needs to be a caveat here. He was a big international, very influential financier yeah. who had, you know, huge networks, invited people to meetings and yeah. brought people together. So he bought, just because he you friends. happened to go he to his friends. island where there were 15-year-old girls yeah. scantily clad wandering around doesn't mean that you condoned anything. And one last point, uh, the FBI, uh, they stand accused. You knew about all these names and the only person you've convicted that you brought to trial was Ghislaine Maxwell. A woman. Uh, you know, her, yeah, a woman, <laughs> uh, Jeffrey Epstein's right-hand woman, if you like, and former girl. Uh, and what about all these other names? Now, mm. pe- people in Britain are going, well, why didn't they go for these... Bi- well, what about Bill Clinton? Well, I'll, I'll explain it as a former resident of America. Americans do not like knocking rich, famous and powerful people off their pedestals. They respect people with money just because they've got money. Uh, it is part of uh, Donald Trump's political power pack that yeah. he's very rich. Uh, that's, it's a national sport yeah, to do for the us, opposite. For us, we can't wait to we kick people when they're down. So, different cultures... 